Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Ubuntu 16.4 operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to download the Eclipse IDE. But before downloading the Eclipse IDE, you need to make sure that you have Java installed on your system because Eclipse is a Java based IDE and you need to have, uh, you know, Java installed on your system before installing Eclipse IDE. Now, in order to install Java, you can just click on this icon here at the top and then first of all, uh, search for the terminal or you can uh, just press Control Alt T also, which will open the terminal. And just to check, you can just write Java minus version here. And if it gives any response, then you know that Java is installed. Otherwise, it's most probably not installed. So if it's not installed, then you can just uh, install Java using this command. This is the command to install Java JDK, which is sudo apt minus get install open JDK minus eight minus JDK. There is a Oracle version of Java also, which you can install, but for simplicity, you can use this command. If you prefer the Oracle one, then you can install Oracle one also, right? So just give this command and then press install and then give your uh, password for your Ubuntu operating system and just give Y here and then the installation will start. So till the installation is finished, let's download the Eclipse IDE. So open your favorite browser and search for Eclipse IDE. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org forward slash IDE. So I'm going to just click this link and here you will be able to see this kind of downloads button on the right hand side right so just click on this downloads button and once you click downloads button you will be able to see here eclipse oxygen which is the newest version at the time of making this video so we are going to download uh, this eclipse oxygen version and this is a 64-bit uh, version. So I'm going to just click this uh, download button. You will be redirected to the downloads page here and you will download it from the nearest, uh, you know, mirror, right? And if you want to select some other mirror, then you can just click this one and, uh, you know, you can download it from there also. Now, if you want to download it from the other uh, you know members then you can uh, you know download this uh, eclipse from ibm website or other websites also but for now we will just click this downloads button and uh, once we click this download button hopefully the download will start so you can see it's uh, eclipse minus inst minus linux 64 bit tar file which is a zip file so i'm going to save this file on my uh, ubuntu operating system and you can see the download uh, is started and it's not a very big file you can see it's about 45 or 46 megabyte file so it will be downloaded really fast and once it's downloaded we will first of all extract it and then we are going to uh, install it right so once it's downloaded you can just browse to the folder where it's downloaded in my case it's a downloads folder you can see this one and in here you can just right click on it and then uh, you can extract this file you can extract it here itself in the downloads uh, folder also or you can uh, extract it to the other folders also whatever you want for now i will just uh, extract it to the downloads folder itself and once the eclipse is extracted then you can go inside this eclipse installer folder and then right click and run it right so before this we can just check whether the java installation is finished or not so we can see that the java installation is finished and once again when you give uh, this command java version now you will be able to see uh, the Java version, right? So it has installed Java 1.8 in my case. Once you see this version, 
now you are uh, ready to install Eclipse from this installer. So just click on this installer, right click and run this uh, installer file, which is going to start the Eclipse installer. And once the installer starts, then we will uh, just, uh, you know, install it. And once the installer starts, it will ask you which uh, version of Eclipse you want. So for example, Eclipse IDE for Java developers or Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, or if you want to uh, just develop C or C++, then you can install this version. And there are many other versions to install. For now, I will uh, just select the first option, which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers, right? Because I just want to develop Java and other Java related stuff with this. So I will just choose the first option. So I'm going to just select it and then you can see this is the default location where this IDE will be installed. And if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click the install button, which is going to start installing this IDE on your system. And in between, you will be able to see this license terms and conditions uh, pop up window. You just need to accept the license and then just uh, click accept here and leave the installation process until it's completed. And now I can see this pop up here, which is asking me, do you trust these certificates? So I'm going to just uh, check this checkbox here and then I will just uh, accept selected and then the installation will go on. And once the installation of this Eclipse IDE is uh, finished, we are ready to launch it. So you can just click this launch button, which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE. So you can see the newest version of Eclipse looks like this. And for the first time when Eclipse IDE starts, it will ask you to provide the default workspace, right? So if you don't have the good reason to change it, you can just leave it as default. And even if you want in future the same default uh, folder, in which you want to save all your projects, then you can check this checkbox, which means that from the next time, this path will be used for all other projects which you create in the future. So just uh, check it if you want, and then just click launch. And now the Eclipse IDE has been started. So let's create a Java project, for example. For example, we want to create a Hello World Java project what we can do here is we can uh, go at the top here and just select the file option from here and then click new and then click Java project. And once the Java project pop-up opens, you can just write uh, the name of the project here. So for example, hello world and then finish it. And once you click finish, you will see nothing has changed here, right? So for the first time, you uh, need to just click this uh, button on the top, which says restore, I think. And this is going to restore your, uh, you know, Eclipse IDE in the Java uh, mode, right? So just click on the right side restore button. And now you can just uh, click on the project. So I'm going to click on the project and there will be a source folder here and there is nothing inside the source package. So let's uh, create a class here. So I'm going to right click and then new. And then for example, I'm going to just click the class. And here I just need to give the name of uh, my class. For example, hello world once again, the same as uh, the project name. And then I will leave everything as default. And when I go down, there is an option which says which method stops would you like to create? So I want to create a main method. So I will just choose this option, which says public static void main, which is the main method of the Java, right? And then click finish here, which is going to create this class. So now my class is uh, created. You can see hello world.java. I'm going to maximize this. And inside my public static void main uh, method, I can just write system dot out uh, dot print line or print ln and then inside this print line arguments i can just uh, print anything what i want so for example 
I just want to print uh, hello world here. So I will just write this. So system dot out dot print line and in the parenthesis just write the message which you want to display. Then save your code. You can save it uh, by just pressing control S or just going to the file and then uh, pressing the save all button or save button. Once this is done, you can run your project using this button, which is the green button here. So just click this button, which is going to first compile your uh, project and then run it. So I can see hello world here. That means my Eclipse IDE is successfully installed and it's working perfectly fine. So in this way, you can install Eclipse IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.